those voices? my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. Music box. I, I have to get it. I have to. Uh, uh, uh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its... The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart. Teacher. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Oh, I love this song. I've still got to pack up a few more things. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Now it's open. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions.
We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. Surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. See if I can find any trace of you around here. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. Good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Looks like it opens from the other side.
These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Hmm, something's missing here. Well, that did something. A carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. 
Another symbol. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. So beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. <laughs> 